is it that so many people who used to be involved in objectivism end up betraying everything the philosophy stands for? I would say that's not just applicable to uh, objectivism because it's difficult to take seriously and live by any philosophy. It's difficult for most people. When they're young, they get enthusiastic and they believe these ideas and they're idealistic, but the great majority of people gradually, in their late 20s and early 30s, just lose interest. They're busy, they have children, they have spouses, they have jobs, etc., and uh, they just no longer have uh, this kind of driving intellectual uh, idealism. Now, this is especially true of objectivism because, in one sense, it's the hardest philosophy of all to live by because it requires that you remain in focus all the time, every waking moment, that you st are independent and, and follow your own judgment regardless of how unpopular it makes you, etc., etc. That's another reason why uh, uh, people would, uh, of all philosophies, shrink from objectivism. From another point of view, of course, objectivism is the easiest philosophy to, to follow because it corresponds to reality and enables you to achieve rational goals. But a lot of people are more worried about the things that requires them to do that they don't want to do than the things that enables them to get that they want to get. And ultimately, they stop wanting in order to escape.